Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Bean. Welcome to my channel. And today I'll be showing you guys a PvP video showing off Blue Demon Meliodas that everyone gets for free or should have got for free if they at least did a summon on the banner. And if you don't know, real quick right here, as you can see, 7 Deadly Sins, Homecoming Banner. If you do a first, uh, first multi, I guess, you get Blue Demon Meliodas for free. And he's insane. So, oh, where am I going? I'm going to be showing you guys how good he is on geared PvP. He is good on ungeared. With just that geared, you can bring the most out of him. So, I'll be using the Pierce team. So, this is probably the best team for him. No, it is the best team for him to run. So, Blue Lilia for her passive for to get extra Pierce. And then Blue Demon Meliodas. And then Rogal, if you don't have him, then you, you can use Hauser. He's he works just as fine. You just won't be doing as much damage. And then uh, bringing it back, Red Skinny King to reduce Pierce. However, I don't think anyone is really running Pierce anymore. So yeah, just go straight into it. Before we get into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'll be posting here pretty much daily. Want to keep up with my content, and if you want to see me go absolutely in for the one when he drops next week i will be doing at least two rotations 1800 gems getting all his costumes everything also like the video if you enjoy but yeah here we didn't get the like a decent hand which sucks so i will just corrosion, just cause attack weaken, and then uh, AOE. So uh, 187,000 damage. I got um, two more Pierce cards. So hopefully, if I don't get petrified here, did he merge into a rank up? No. Alright, that brought me below 50, so my passive's up. Alright, this should be game. We might not be able to get that, uh... What's his name? Draw down, but I'm pretty sure we can kill that Sario and the Gilter. Oh, never mind. This might just kill both of them. Hold on. Alright, so we didn't kill... Can, we didn't kill Gilter. But yeah, Pierce rate... Is still extremely strong. It's just that since uh, glue, glue eaters are in the meta right now, you don't really see it as often. The shield is done. All right. So real quick, blue demon melodies. Since it is, everyone's getting for free. Pierce card on him. So I have. Lilia on a full pierce set because her passive increases all allies pierce rate by half of her, her own pierce rate. And pierce rate is one of the hardest hitting cards in the game, so as long as you can get blue demon meliosis card off, it's gonna hit like a truck. I might get stunned. Okay, no. Uh, it's supposed to be a Meliodas centered video, so this should finish off that Liz. Yeah, 53,000, level 1. Very good. So that was game number 1. And if you don't have Blue Lilia, this team, Blue Demon Meliodas, won't be hitting as hard. He'll be hitting for about half of that. So. If you, I don't know when they'll probably bring Blue Lilia back. Probably when the next Step Up banner drops. So probably like with the Mono, Blue Mono and Blue Valenti. But here, alright. This, unless he's running Evade Food, which I doubt. This is a one turn wipe. So everyone will get killed except for the Lost Wing because he'll get rezzed. Never mind, we can just kill that Liz. Alright, so look at that. One turn wipe. 
And even though it might have been a bot, there's nothing a real player could have done against that. Because as I said, the meta right now is Glue Eater, so... That, what, what is that? Like a Lost Main, Green, Gother, Liz, Goddess Liz, and like Merlin in the back. So they aren't running... What's it called? They're not running skinny Red Skinny King in the back to uh, reduce my pierce rate by 50%, so... Yeah, I don't think I've faced a single person with Red Kid in the back for like weeks. So if you do go first and you manage to get a good RNG with three pierce cards in a row, that's basically game. We got here ult with Rugal. Rugal. Such a beast. But yeah, even if you don't have him, you can use Hauser because that's what everyone used before he dropped. Rugal dropped. And he worked just as fine. Just give him a proper attack and defense set. With uh, full pierce rolls, if you want to do more damage. But you, if you want highest amount of CC, then you would go with all attack rolls. But here... Did I get double, triple pierce? I didn't. So I'll just do the usual. Reduce that Sario's attack, then attack with Melee. If I get just two more Pierce cards next turn and I don't get Petrified, that should be game, and I didn't. So RNG was not in my favor. However, I can rush Lily ult. He's a real player. Ranking himself up. Pumpkin Bombs. I'll just do this, take off that uh, gauge removal from Gilther and get Lily ult. Sorry, a single target on Rugal, maybe? Is he dead? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> yep. I don't have any cards for him, though. So here I'll just do this, uh, and then level 3 AoE with Lilia, why not? This probably won't kill anyone? Yeah. Take away uh, 3 of their gauge. Unfortunately that uh, Sario probably is going to wipe my whole team. Yeah, I don't have any Meliodas cards. And Gother's passive is probably yeah like that. Give me some, give me a lost, not lost, wait, no melee card. Thank you. It won't be enough to kill. So I think I might might have lost here if I don't pull another uh, Pierce card. But if he petrifies me, then I lost. So I'll just leave. Or if he just kills me outright. Look at how much damage, yeah. Can I even get anyone down here? I don't really have a choice, I'll just have to do this. Hope that a level 2 does the job. It does, okay. Goddess is in the back, of course. Everyone is running her, because why not? Very toxic team. So here I'll just do this, corrosion with melee, and then level 1 pierce, start chipping away at her health. Even if I do get stunned, which I might. Okay, never mind. This for sure kills her once, however she does have revive. So I'm hoping that this level 1 kills her right after, 
If not, then we'll just stall out the game a bit. If it crits, might get her down. Yeah, if it would have crit, look at that. A level th is that a level three stun? Okay, no, good. Yeah, that's game. Even uh, I do have all attack rolls on my Demon Meliodas, so he's attack and defense. I was gonna, well, that's because mostly he, this is my Lost Veins set, so there'd be no point in me putting Pierce Rate rolls if I'm gonna use it for Lost Veins. So I do get higher CC on my uh, Meliodas, well, for my Demon Meliodas in specific, specifically, but I okay, let's see him again. I don't. Okay, that's interesting. Hold on. I'll do the usual. Yeah, I was just saying, I don't have... Uh, I have the highest CC possible that I can manage out of uh, my Meliodas. Due to... Him being an attack and defense set. With a full attack rolls. And if I had full pierce rolls on him, he would be hitting much harder. But just, I would lower my CC quite a bit. Just with my, like, my Rugal, I have him... What is this? Oh, wow. Uh... I'll do this. And then just follow up with this. Our attack weakened by 30%. Do have his ult. So even if he does... He could probably just kill me outright. If he has like a level... 2. Nice, he didn't kill anyone. Alright, nice. Rugal's just a beast. Look at that passive. So... I will actually... Hey, we have Lost Vein first, ult, that's Sario, and then another Pierce card with Rugal. For sure, Sario is dead, and then since Rugal is boosted, this might just kill both of the uh, Gother and the Droll. Yeah, look at that. Rugal's passive is insane. When he drops below 50% health, he does... No, he gains a 15% boost to all of his stats, not even just basic stats, so that includes substats as well. Did he get ult? That's actually crazy. I'll just do this, drain him, and then level 2 Pierce card with Rugal. Rugal. Type disadvantage. We're hitting for 72,000. But yeah, I will do... I'll do one more after this. Call it a day. This might not kill because Eldridge is quite tanky. Oh no, Lilia should come through. Alright, good. Yeah, Pierce Rate. Right? I haven't lost a single one, even though I think most of them have been bots. But even, as I said, if they were real players and I still managed to go first, and I get that triple Pierce card start from the, uh, from the rip, I can one-shot any team. As long as they're not running Red Skinny King, and as I said... Basically, no one is running Red Skinny King right now in the back. So here, actually, I think for the last one, we do have a real player on the line, judging by the lag. So let's see if we go first. Uh, we do. Give me the triple pierce, please. Please. Nice. All right. So here, just look at this real quick. Let's actually give a polite bow. Let's see if we get anything back. It is a real player, so this would be a nice way to finish it, and if I am right, and he's not running a Void Food, this should just one-shot his whole team. If I crit on that Sario, please? Almost, but yeah, look at that. Basically dead. I just need one Pierce card for anyone, so he, can, he has to petrify my... 
my Meliodas here, or else he loses. He loses both his Sario and his Gother. So he's ranking up level 2 and then single target probably on Rugal. Yeah. I don't need him. He's done his work. However, my uh, he did get a bunch of uh, merges. Remember, he did lifesteal a bunch. So I'll do this and then level 2 drain just in case. This for sure gets that uh, Gilter down. Then I'll just do this just to drain. Just because. Because I needed more cards. Almost got that draw down. Death Pierce in the back. Okay. I didn't get any melee cards, so... That sucks. He is not getting the extra bonus from Gother anymore, from his passive. But he probably is gonna... I was going for my Red King. He really wants him to die. However, here I will just go for the triple damage play. See if we can get that Droll down. Probably not. Come on, King. Lilia? No, I don't think Lilia's gonna do enough damage here. Yeah. I did get a my lot of my Melly's ults, and if he does petrify me for some reason, I can just cleanse that off. Which I think he did get a get a petrify. Or is that a taunt? Oh, that's a taunt. Does he have a single target? Alright, nice. So... Oh, that's kind of unlucky for me. However, this for sure gets that draw down. I'll heal up. And then, just do this. Draw is dead, however, he will one-shot one of my units, guaranteed. He might. He has to go for my last uh, my, last, my Meliodas because he's basically fully healed. Yeah, or he could go for my. What's her name, Lilia? Since she does have full gauge. If he does kill Lilia, I will lose two cards. Oh, he's going for my Meliodas. So yeah, that makes sense. He's basically the main threat here. That's not gonna kill. I just have to get that uh, Death Pierce down. This should get him down, honestly. Even though I am type disadvantage and I am full Pierce rolls, not a single attack roll. Yeah. And I fully heal. Not fully heal, but heal a bit. Don't merge on uh, Sario, please. Don't give him any level 2s or 3s. Okay, on level... Oh, I lost. Wait, no. That merges. But yeah, I lost. Oh, well. Because, yeah, if even I do this, I'll just drain him for one turn, and then I won't be able to get a level 2 drain. So yeah, oh well, we won off. We won four and lost one, so I'll take that. Pretty good. What is that? A eighty percent win ratio. But yeah, there you guys have it. Blue Demon Meliodas is still an absolute beast. And as long as you get the proper draw, I'm lucky that I didn't really one shot his whole team there. I could have if I just upgraded my Meliodas's like costumes and got max on all his costumes. Cosmetics, attack pieces, uh, attack or weapons, I guess. I could have won, but oh well. But yeah, there you guys have it. Melodis is a beast. Blue Demon Meliodas, as long as they don't have Red Skinny King in the back. But yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.